Hey everybody, Andrew and Elijah here from Living the Northern Life. Today, Elijah's finishing up the last few coats of paint on the trailer. We're also adding in some grease into the back bolts. So we've added some grease in here so that uh, when we put the bolts back in here, that they'll have some play. We need to do the axles here as well, but uh, we're not doing those yet today. Uh, eventually we'll be greasing the axles here as well. I'll give you a, a shot of that in a minute. But if you haven't liked our, our videos yet, give them a like. Please subscribe and leave your comments down below. installing the lock nuts on these guys now. It'll be the last time we really need to take this apart. So that's going to be it for this one guys. I think Elijah did an amazing paint job on the uh, trailer. We put three or four coats, maybe yeah. a little bit more on it. It's hard to tell. I just kind of like walked around as they dried outside. Um, yeah, it was. It, was uh, it worked out really well being yeah. outside. It was a little bit windy today, so I think a lot of the paint maybe was blowing around. But uh, you know, this is our first experience, and I think it went really well. We we went through two cans of paint for the whole trailer. Um, we could probably use another coat on the inside or so. But uh, what do you think of the gun, Elijah? Uh, the gun worked well this time. I there's like a little filter that goes in. Uh, where the paint enters the gun, and I pulled that filter out. I had seen some YouTube videos that had said that it impeded with the flow of the paint. Uh, I pulled that out, and the paint flew, like, came out of the gun way better in, like, a proper pattern and everything. So, overall, it was way better. I paid more attention to the mixture. I think I was writing about one part acetone to about two, two and a half parts of paint. Yeah. And the, the paint was a uh, trim clad primer. I'm going to show you that here. Uh, the gun was a 1.4 millimeter. 
uh, which it says it's it's good for primers and clear coats. Um, so you know uh, that was Elijah's first experience. Again, I've never used the gun before. Uh, he's got way more experience at this than I do. So uh, we're looking forward to painting some other stuff. You know, this was uh, really a practice for some projects that we've got coming up in the near future. Um, anything else, Elijah? No, I think that's it. Uh, if you've even got a small air compressor that, that does up to 20 PSI and can maintain that, uh, that gun, will uh, you'll be able to use that. We bought it from Princess Auto on sale. I think it was $36 or something like that. Again, it's not a professional gun. We understand that, but this was not a professional project either. This is our uh, bush buggy, our ultimate quad trailer. Uh, we've got a bunch of other things left to do on that, but we wanted to wrap up this section of it. Uh, we're going to be building some gates and we've got uh, one other surprise where we're going to talk about that a little bit later on in another video. All right, guys, like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.